and welcome to Lagos Update on Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM. This program highlights the activities of the Lagos State Government and other state events. I'm Adiola Akindili. In the highlights of the program today, Lagos State Government signs bills establishing additional two universities in Lagos. Plus, Governor Sonwolu gives her offers lifeline for two out-of-school girls. Base and more after this time. We'll begin today with the story. Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwolu on Tuesday said completion of the Lekki port will put an end to the intractable Akpapa gridlock, the congestion along Osho, the Akpapa Expressway, port access roads, and Akpapa environs. Governor Sonwulu made a statement at the opening ceremony of the Africa Business Convention, organized by Business Day newspaper at Victoria Island, Lagos. The governor said several measures would be put in place to ensure Akpapa is is congestion free, saying that the officials will be changed regularly to ensure there is no compromise in services rendered. Governor Sonwolu, who spoke about his administration's commitment to delivering the dividends of democracy to millions of Lagosians through the themes developmental agenda for Greater Lagos, said his government has completed iconic projects within the state in the last two and a half years. He also cited some of the infrastructural projects such as Lekki Deep Port, Fourth Mainland Bridge, Red and Blue Line Rails, and the Mortar Rice Mills, among others that are ongoing or in the pipeline, which according to him would be completed and become operational within the next 24 months. Governor Sonwolu said the process leading to the commencement of the construction of the Fourth Mainland Bridge, which starts from Baduri in Naja and ends in Ikurudu, would be completed before the second quarter of the year. Speaking of the event, the publisher of Business Day newspaper, Frank Aigogun, applauded Governor Sonwulu for the great work he has done in reading a papa of traffic gridlock and for delivering on his promise to the people of Lagos State. On Wednesday, Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwulu signed the bills for the establishment of additional two universities in the state, Lagos State University of Education, Laswood, and Lagos State University of Science and Technology. He assented to the bills transmitting Lagos State Polytechnic in Ikurudu, Isolo, and Surulere campuses to the University of Science and Technology, as well as Adeniro Gunsoya Colleges of Education, Ijaniki, and Michael Tedula College of Primary Education, Ikwe, to Lagos State University of Education. The signing ceremony, which took place at the Lagos House, Mavina, was witnessed by the Special Advisor to the Governor on Education, Tukumbo Waha, and Commissioner for Justice and Attorney General, Muyosori Unigbanju, members of the governing councils and management staff of the tertiary institutions, among others. Speaking after signing the bills, Governor Sonwulu said Lagos and its indigents are now blessed with two additional universities to the existing Lagos State University in Lhasa, established in 1982 by the first executive governor of Lagos State, the late Alaji Latif Jakonde. <music> Speaking earlier, Special Advisor to the Governor on Education, Tukumbo Wahab, said the establishment of the Lagos State University of Education last week and Lagos State University of Science and Technology will serve issues relating to admission for Lagos State citizens. Wahab also commended Governor Sonwulu for putting his full weight behind the establishment of the two additional universities and appreciated the Lagos State House of Assembly for believing in the process. The Lagos State Government is set to empower over 100,000 students through its Eco Digital projects with plans to train an appreciable number in the Job Initiative Lagos program this year. Special Advisor to the Governor on Education, Tukumbo Wahab, stated this 
while appraising the activities of the office last year and giving insights into what is expected in the new year. According to him, over 341,000 students in public and private schools have benefited so far in the Eco Digital Project, while 60,000 penultimate and final year students of higher institutions across the state benefited from the job initiative Lagos in the last two years. Two years ago, we had a COVID disruption of our activities and most of the institutions on the outside, the tertiary had to go on the LMS platform for them to accomplish anything. And I'm glad Mr. Governor was able to help deploy. And I can say this broadly, Lagos was the only state where academic activities never stopped at the height of COVID. Thanks to Mr. Governor, and his visionary leadership that he was able to engage the company to deploy LMS for all our tertiary institutions. Wahab, who stated that the administration of Governor Babajide Sumulu is investing in human capital development, which is key to development, said the budget performance of the Office of Special Advisors on Education last year stood at 99.5%, which helped to perform optimally this year. The special advisor said in 2021, the present administration through the office upgraded 155 libraries in public schools across the state to revive reading culture among students, while plan is in the pipeline to upgrade 200 more this year. I have also stated that the budgetary allocation of 12.6% earmarked for the education sector this year will address more infrastructural deficit in schools across the state, while work will intensify on the over 8,000 bed space hostel being built in the Lagos State University, Lasso Ocho. <music>
describing the gesture as a clarion on all to join hands with the government to make a positive difference. Governor Sonwulu promised to ensure that two out-of-school girls, Amarachi and Sugwebat, are properly educated and given a better future. I'm indeed happy that even all of us that are in this room that have come to listen to an initiative called Sweepy, we all can make the difference. If we choose to, as a people, we all can make the difference. If we choose to, as a generation, because there's no better thing that we can give to mankind than ensuring that we can make life better for our next door neighbor. And that's why I feel happy how coincidence has brought this intervention, that what Sweepy is all about, ensuring that they can give the voice to the vulnerable in our society. Earlier in our address, wife of the Lagos State Governor and grand patron of Sweepy, Ibijo Kesonwulu, said the initiative would revolutionize social welfare practice in Lagos State with the principal objective of caring for the vulnerable, especially children with special needs, mentally challenged individuals, and the elderly. Mrs. Sonwulu stated that her office through the Sweepy initiative will help put smile on the faces of children in orphanages and the aged across the state. We have noticed abroad that when people retire from their jobs from 60 and above, they have some things that they have put in place for the senior citizens. And those are things that we're advocating here in Nigeria as a whole, that when, and most of us are going to grow old and retire, there must be something in place. So if we don't make noise now, we find ourselves in that situation. So we need to start talking now that please, policies need to be put in place, uh, rules and regulations need to be put in place. Even for the orphanages, we have quite a number of them roaming the streets. A lot of things are happening out there. And so policies need to be put in place. Enforcements also need to be put in place. Chairman of Sweep Initiative, Kolawole Ajayi said the organization will partner with government agencies to standardize welfare processes to meet global best practice, specifically in orphaned, vulnerable children, elderly, and mental health administration in Lagos State. We appreciate this continued leadership and vision for social protection as we will continue to support the efforts of the government. A major collaborator in the public space has been the Ministry of Youth and Social Development, who graciously shared the state's strategic plan to improve the social welfare ecosystem with a plethora of articulated initiatives and interventions. Finally, on the program today, Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwulu on Thursday joined the Swedish Ambassador to Nigeria Ghana and ECOWAS region, Ambassador Carl Michael Grant and Honorary Consul of Swedish Government Philip Akerson to inaugurate the new Swedish Honorary Consulate in Lagos. Speaking at the inauguration ceremony of the new Swedish Honorary Consulate at Victoria Island, Lagos, Governor Sonwulu said Lagos is open to more businesses. When you have a consul service that we've just seen, we just handing over to Swedish citizens, to the businesses, to the Nigerian community, and we begin to see a further entrenched, mutually beneficial, cultural, economic, political benefits that both countries will enjoy. And indeed, it's exciting to know that, you know, the Swedish relationship with Nigeria is over 60 years. I want to assure you, um, the Lagos community will use the space very well. The business community will use the space very well. You know, we started talking, you know, I can see a few of them all around here. And it will further, you know, strengthen um, Swedish Nigerian businesses, or more importantly, you know, signpost Lagos as a commercial economic nerve center of this country. Speaking earlier, the Swedish ambassador to Nigeria, Ghana, and ECOWAS region, Ambassador Carl Michael Grants, said Lagos is the incontestable business hub of Nigeria and West Africa. Also speaking, the Honorary Consul of the Swedish Government, Philip Akerson, stressed the importance of the new Swedish Honorary Consulate in Lagos, saying it will strengthen the bilateral relationship between Sweden and Nigeria. <music> 
And with that story, we conclude this week's edition of Lagos Update, a program that highlights the activities of the Lagos State Governor and other state events. You can listen to Lagos Traffic Radio on our website www.trafficradio961.ng and follow us on our various social media platforms. Twitter, Lagos Traffic 961. Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Facebook, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM. On YouTube, subscribe to our channel, Lagos Traffic 961. You can download our app, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM from Play Store for more updates. You can as well follow me on Twitter at Adeola Akindele1. Thanks to my producer, Babatende Akinyemi, studio engineer, Oji Shola Ola, with support from the social media team. The executive producer is Tayo Akunle and Adeola Akindele. Next week is another date. Stay blessed and stay safe.